get a lot of people who come out just as a, a couple, and one is very experienced, and the other one is the one that usually showed up at the dinner table. And I won't say whether it's the, the husband or the wife because it, it varies every That's single okay. time. Now that it's dry um, so a little I'm, bit, you can just take, you can either hang it up like with Mark, you know, like this if you want, or I just take and put a little flower on it. Yeah, we could take this one. And, yes, and put a cotton towel down. And then I just sort of make it into a, a little make, nest. We're going to make tortellini. So now you take and you fold the round edge up like so, all right? And then you take it and you wrap it around your pinky like oh, this. So I've got the chocolate truffle now out of the refrigerator. As a good friend taught me how to cut a straight line, you start in the middle and you put your finger down here where you want it to cut and the knife goes to your finger. Who taught me that? This is how you make 64. So it's a little bit looser than fudge. Look how, the other thing is, is notice this guys. When you look at this uh, chocolate truffle mix, Notice how beautiful and shiny that is. Yeah. Do you see that? Now think about that. You can, you could actually take a cake and you put it on a uh, uh, rack, and then you pour this over it, and it just drips off. Okay, and you get this beautiful glaze. It's stunning. The Disneyland of disaster. The Volpen Test Hammer Disaster Training Site is a unique facility run by the Department of Energy. Uh, the Hammer facility is a very unique training uh, center. It uh, is a worker training facility. The emphasis is on uh, hands-on training. Burn building, uh, we have uh, three is, burn props uh, inside there. We, we have in the, in the front, we have a couch, and we call it our couch prop. In the upstairs, we have a, a bedroom fire prop. Uh, and then we also have electrical cable tray prop. Burn building, we, we have, have uh, three uh, burn props inside there. We, we have in the, in the front, we have a couch, we call it our couch prop. In the upstairs, we have a, a bedroom fire prop, uh, and then we also have electrical cable tray prop. We so have uh, that the vapors from the fire, uh, from the fuel, are actually what's burning. And what we're going to do is teach these guys how to apply foam that lays a suppressive layer over the top of it suppress the vapors down and it takes the fire out. Looking good. Make sure you go side to side covering the whole thing. See how you're making a blanket go across? Keep moving up. Lift it up a little bit. Well, this time we're going to go left hand. These guys are uh, practicing the SCBA1 so they're going in there and they're uh, the main thing is concentrate on their air supply and communications. Uh, we haven't got to the part of actually search and rescue, so their primary focus is on their air supply and uh, communications, like I said, um, keeping in close contact. Uh, what they're going to do is start off on the left hand search. Uh, what we train them to do is stay on the left hand wall or the right hand wall, never to lose contact with that wall. So if something goes bad. Get in there. Push that, try to push that clutch in. Let me see if you can get it mostly to the floor. Oh, yeah. At Lotus Motor Speedway, racing schools have become extremely popular. Buck Baker was one of the original NASCAR drivers, and his school is a very sought after experience here. This is a beginner class with the first stop in the classroom. Several top name drivers have also come through the school. So you the lines, making sure they got it all down pat before they go out there and do it by themselves. And uh, we'll ride, you know, three to five laps with them. Come back down pit road. I ask him if he's comfortable. If he is, I'm gonna jump out. I'm gonna send him by himself down the road. adrenaline rush and, and it gives you I guess a greater appreciation for what those guys do out there every weekend. That's that's really what it does. Nothing like it in the world. That was awesome. For us it's you know seeing the big smiles when they when they get out of the car and I guess for them, you know, from suing a lifelong dream of getting to drive a race car. 